All right. Hello, hello. We are live here with Red Dead Redemption 2. And, uh, yeah, this is my first time ever playing Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, I played... Uh, I'll get into it a little bit early, uh, a little bit later. But I played the first one, and I loved it. Now we're going to play the second one. So let us get in. Let us waste no time in beginning with the story of Red Dead Redemption 2. Is the loading screen? It's one hell of a way to do a loading screen. Well, these awesome loading screens are at least giving me time to uh, promote out the stream. So that's nice. Loading. In 1899, the age of outlaws and gunslingers was at its end. Indeed it was. Indeed it was, historically. America was becoming the land of laws. Some may say boring. Even the West had been mostly tamed. Or had mostly been tamed. I can read. A few gangs still roamed, but they too were being hunted and destroyed. I know that's not exactly what it said, but it's the point that matters the most. Rockstar Games presents... Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm kind of surprised there's no gun effect. Like, uh, you know... Sorry it took me a little while longer to get set up. Uh, Twitch changed this interface a bit. Uh, with an update, so... I was a little behind on the 8-ball trying to figure it out. But it actually kind of works okay. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. <sighs> if we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Huh. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he... You know... An old man in town. Abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! Hmm. Fascinating.
Now I have to admit, I don't know uh, where in the Red Dead Redemption timeline, chapter one, Coulter. I don't know where in the Red Dead Redemption timeline this lies because I have not played Red Dead Redemption 1 in like forever. So I don't even really know uh, what care what the characters are and what they're supposed to be kind of thing. Very good snow effects. And, ironically, not something that's Miss Gaskin, uncommon in Wisconsin. Get that fire lit, quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There oh. was nothing more you could have done. Uh. What are we going to do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're going to stay here, and you are going to get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this, just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Sure. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. No kidding. I loved Davy. Jenny, Sean, Mac, they may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground in their stead, I'd do it gladly. But we are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mm -hmm. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Hmm. Stay strong. Oh, there's kids there, too. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work to do. Audio direction, Laszlo. Yet. So, they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey. I ain't had time to ask. Me. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Oh, okay. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. I. We need you strong. Okay. Sorry, I'm just, uh, I just need to change the audio settings here so that we're not, uh, I'm not getting drowned out here. Or not. So yeah, with, um, Red Dead Redemption 1, uh, I, I love the game. I played and, uh... I loved I loved the game. I played and I beat it once uh, back when it came out. I haven't had the opportunity to ever play through it again. I never played Undead Nightmare either from De Red Dead Redemption uh, 1. Now, as for Red Dead Redemption 2, like I said, I, I actually avoided a lot of the uh, promo material and hype building into the game. So I actually don't know hardly a lot about whether or not this is... Um, a completely new set of characters. I think it is a completely new set of characters with a completely new protagonist because, I mean, by the end of Red Dead Redemption 1, the story arc is pretty much well wrapped up with uh, John Marston 
and his family, you know, the protagonist of the very first game. Um, but this is interesting to say the least because uh, for a gang of outlaws, they actually have their own camp and everything. So uh, a lot of credit where credit's due for them to have that uh, be the case. Um, I'm going to see here if I can change where the broadcast bar is on my TV because I want to be able to maybe see the objective. But then again, maybe it's not that big of a deal. We'll see. We'll actually see. We'll play a little bit here. I'm sorry I'm sorting stream stuff out, but uh, because I haven't played the game before, I didn't know exactly how it was going to shake out. And it's obviously something that you can't see. Come on, let's go. So, sure what we're going to find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Ideally. Tap A to go faster. I always liked riding the horses in this game. Uh, in the first game. Uh, it's coming up. Take it easy. Okay. Okay, R R B to steady the horse. I suppose that's for aiming. And to stop the horse. Hey, move up alongside me. Can't see you back there. Can't believe we lost Davy too. He's yeah. The last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. Wait, is that someone coming towards us? Sorry to cut it off there. So our name is Arthur. And you know what? I hate to do this, but I am actually going to Google if we actually run into uh, characters from the first Red Dead Redemption. The only reason why... Uh, the name Abigail stuck out to me is because that is one of the NPCs that you run into. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. I know it's way, way past uh, the original. Um, the original... Uh, Yeah, I know he's not in Red Dead Redemption. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, he's not in Red Dead Redemption. Uh, yes, Abigail Marston. That was the name of John Marston's wife. Wait. Wait a minute. Oh. I feel like such an idiot. I didn't know that. Uh, but I didn't know this. Red Dead Redemption 2 is actually a prequel to Red Dead Redemption 1 from a story perspective, which actually makes a lot of sense now that I think about it because of the fact that, uh, again, the original Red Dead Redemption 1 was set during the days of the Dying Wild West, and said days of the Dying Wild West were already... Uh, kind of, you know, a big thing to talk about. I feel much better now have about uh, here about reading that. Like I said, I avoided uh, anything related to the story regarding Red Dead Redemption 2 because I wanted to be surprised. Apparently, I avoided way too much. And I know I'm way behind in playing this game, but I didn't have it for the longest time, and now I do, you know, kind of thing. Um, so, yeah... And Abigail, that might actually be... That must be John Marston's wife. Uh, I forgot if she was... I thought she was blonde, but I, I think I'm thinking of another one of the female characters from Red Dead Redemption 1 that John Marston interacted with. Uh, I know my YouTube numbers are probably going to suffer for this, but I hope that uh, Twitch doesn't ban me because I know there's going to be some violence and cursing. It's going to be a very hard time uh, when I 
post this to YouTube, I'm sure. Pain is more like it. And uh, I am sorry if I um, missed your chats beforehand uh, with the Twitch, uh, on Twitch, because uh, the mobile app is still acting like a load of crap. Uh, it is still, like, putting my phone is is still putting my phone into power save mode unless I constantly interact with it. So, uh, I really don't know what's going on with that. Um, I I'm getting kind of annoyed by that. I don't want to have to put my computer up just to read my Twitch chats, but that's where I'm at with that. I know I keep complaining about it, but it's a persistent problem. Anyways, what are Arthur and Dutch going to find? You up ahead. Who's there? John Marston, maybe? And actually, yeah, Micah. Micah. Gentlemen, found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. Calendar. Okay. I'm sorry to pause it again. I'm just trying to get my bearings here with the story. Um I'm just trying to get my bearings here with the story and stuff. I suppose that makes sense though. That must mean that John Marston. And with a story, because John Marston, part of the re... Or he actually did kind of have to hunt down his old gang in the very first game as part of the feds. But, you know, Marston himself was kind of, you know, living on the edge. And I do think that was a young uh, Jack Marston, too. That was the kid that was there. Again, it'll probably all piece itself together and I'll just have this big aha moment and to the annoyance of people that have played this game, but eh, whatever. My apologies. And Mac, Sean, we don't know why a business. Yeah. Living in an outlaw gang in 1899. And then... Have you seen John? Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Hey, Arthur, let me take the rear. You move up. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Nice little uh, horse riding tutorial mechanic. And I'm sure we'll get a gun shooting tutorial uh, pretty quickly here, too. Um... The only reason now why I paused it was uh, not because of uh, stuff clicking together. I just wanted to hope and wish that everybody's having a good Saturday because, uh, you know, I didn't wish that earlier. Um, you know, here at, as uh, IJP the Orange Lantern, you know, would just like to welcome you all to the stream. Um, now... Ah, uh, what was I going to say? I had another thought in my brain that was part of the reason why I paused this. Ah! I just had so many thoughts flowing in my brain that makes it kind of... Oh, yeah, it was the early 1900s in the first game. So, yeah, there's actually quite a bit of a timeline. Uh, not in terms of, like, tech or, like, progression, but just in general. Uh... It's all gonna work out, Morgan. We lost a few folks, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Well, I'm glad you're feeling so good about it. Where are all the others? Old mining camp, back up the hill. It ain't much, but it's sheltered. So, 
This house. You speak to the people there already? No. Like Dutch told us, look, but don't talk to no one. Just following orders. You know me. Right. How much further? Not far. What does that mean? Not far. Uh, thanks. Graphics are beautiful in this game. And I like that. Oh, I like... Damn, this snow gets right to the bone. Graphics in this game are awesome and amazing. And I do believe this game came out in, uh, what, 2018? Yeah, 2018. So graphics in this game are still very much amazing. Really pushing the hardware. And also, I do like that they actually have the ability for you to talk to the various uh, NPCs while you're riding horseback. Okay. I thought I could talk to the guy. Let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Stop and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Oh, because you're the great you're the great okay. negotiator? Let's head down there. Uh so much for snuffing the oh, he's not snuffing his lantern. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah, goddamn, the graphics in this game are awesome already. The, the, the characters especially, the character models especially are very, very well done. I was very, very Switch impressed with them uh, in that opening cutscene. Uh, in that opening cutscene, I was very, very impressed with them. Okay. Simple. Gotta, you know, hitch up your horse. Let me do the talking. We don't want to scare these folks. Fair enough, Dutch. Oh, you can still do you can still do talking even uh even when you're on Someone's foot. Having fun in there. You too. Get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. Micah, hide behind that way. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left and stay low, both of you. Okay, Arthur. So, yep, we're Arthur Morgan. Yep, we're Arthur Morgan. Okay. Arthur, get in. Yeah, I. Ooh. Hello? Shut up, Billy. Excuse me. Hello? Uh oh. oh Hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way. Lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the trail. Arthur, we got a problem. Oh, look. There's a corpse right here. Oh, crap. I just Arthur. Some... There's a body in the wagon. I hear you. Just Gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you. Okay. So we got a knife, cattleman revolver. Now, friend, I ain't asking for much. Please, I am. Sorry, outlaws. We're not getting fooled. Yeah. I'm not getting fooled by that. There's a body in a wagon. They killed this they killed the family. So they're their own outlaws. Yeah, they're their own outlaws. They killed the family that's there. Suck it. Good spotting, Micah, though. I'm trying. I'm trying. He won't last out there by himself. Arthur, I said I'd handle this. Didn't seem to be going too well. Goddamn O'Driscoll boys here. Why? I don't know. Maybe same reason as us. 
Micah, go bring the horses closer to the house. Arthur, let's go search the cabin. Old Driscoll boys, eh? Another gang, eh? Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. Okay. Old X near items. Classic oat cakes. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Oh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. Okay. Okay. Oh, God, great. <sighs> oh, great. So we actually have to eat now to stay alive. Just what I wanted in this game. Not. No, seriously. I. <sighs> All right. Place is dry, warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Huh. Jack. Like poor bastard was married too. At some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. Huh. Jake and Sadie. Aw. That's terrible. Son of a guns. Will do. Blood. I'm trying to see what... Yep. Biscuits. Well, hopefully I don't have to share. Hopefully I don't have to share. Can vegetable... I really hope that there's not like a hunger mechanic where, oh, you gotta eat something every single time or else it's, you know, or else you die. That would suck. Open health cure. Okay. Excuse me. I thought there was something we could examine from perspective of like the blood and whatnot, but no, not really. Ooh, sorry. Stuff to sell. Ooh, a Vista's card thing. That's cool. Oh, wait, what? Ooh. Well, what's taking so long in there? Uh, still looking, Dutch. Yeah, you don't leave anything behind. I mean, it's bad enough that these poor guys, these poor people died. You know, gotta make sure that everything is in our hands and not the outlaws and. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <sighs> okay. I'm trying to zoom in. I was trying to zoom in. Can't do that, apparently. Because I think I found our... The homestead owner. Poor guy. Uh... All right, well, that, as they say, I think is that, so we move forward now. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, 
You search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. Okay. Okay, so there's stealth. Dutch, Dutch Van Der Lind. That's our, uh, that's our boss, I guess you could say it. Calling it right now. One of the outlaws ran in here. Yeah, horses. And punch. Yep. Okay. What's going on? Now this guy just killed me. Oh, oh, did he now? Sneaky little bastard. Should I kill him? No. Not yet. Find out what they're doing here and where Colm is. Right. Oh, this son of a bitch will talk. Beat him. Beat him into beat him into submission. Where's Colm O'Driscoll? Uh, with the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here. Near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Yeah. Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. <laughs> get the hell out of here. Go. I'll get I'll get a little soft on you, I guess. Pick up my hat. I guess I'm getting a little soft on you. Horse bonding achieved level one. Okay, so we got to hold the trigger and then we got to lead the horse. Um. Oh, okay. That was just a little weird. Lead the horse to the hitching post. Got it. Okay, I don't have to hold the trigger anymore. Good. Good to know. Okay. I mean, I like, I like my horse. Get away from me! Oh no! What the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, it's the woman of the house. Woman in the house. I wasn't doing nothing. Really? No, she ain't, Michael. Look at her. Miss, miss. Are you you idiot. Dumbass. Now, it is gonna be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss, miss. Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. God damn it, Micah. Oh. You okay, miss? They came three days ago. Three days ago? Yeah, they killed him. Okay. Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. Well, no shit, Sherlock. You come with us. Arthur. Miss, it's okay. We're bad men. We ain't them. Yeah. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. 
What's your <laughs> name, miss? Another woman. To, miss. To, for the party, Adler. I guess. Adler? Sadie Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. Yep. That was the body that we saw up in the cellar. Or not the cellar, up over at the top there. We couldn't reach. <sighs> Poor lady. Well, there's a couple other ladies in our party. Hey! Somebody's coming! So, Looks put like your... Dutch. Yep, put your hey, gun down. Dutch is back. Where's John Marston? Uh, Mike have found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Home O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank yeah. you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something? Huh. And Mrs. Adler. Nice. It's going to be okay. You're safe now. Mrs. Adler. Turned her into a widow. Animals. Yeah. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over Damn. here. Damn. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? How come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. Oh, God, Micah. Also, well, maybe if you didn't burn the house down, you dumbass. Also, also, I love how they call all the ladies Miss, uh, even the married ones. Like, like Miss as in, like, Can't unmarried. Been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. John. Hello, Arthur. Really? Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I'm worried about John. I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your Damn. John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go really? take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know the situation were reversed and he looked for me really that's true that's John Thank Marston you. that is John Marston he would look for them last I know John was headed up the river for all we know he kept riding north and never looked back he wouldn't leave I like that uh, wouldn't be the first time the hunt for John Marston. I would like a game, uh, if they do a Red Dead Redemption 3, I would like another game where you actually play yeah, as a sheriff, not an outlaw. Come on, let's take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, I, yeah. Yeah, I would like a game where you play as a sheriff, not left. an outlaw. Recently. Uh, in and the Red Dead games. That way. Okay, Go Javier. Sounds good, Javier. Let's see what the progress is like. Total completion, 1%. Okay, so we haven't reached very far yet, obviously. I just kind of wanted to see what it is.
That's kind of a weird way to put your save and load games. God, the graphics are beautiful in this game. Yeah, God, the graphics are beautiful in this game. I know I said that already, but still. You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. Of course, the health. You were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money. It seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Okay. I like my horse too. It's very nice. It's a very nice spotted uh, horse. Big ravine here. It looks like the health doesn't drain a girl in a nearly as much. Bad way, but it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. Oh, okay. So first person, we can play in first person or third person. I know. I know. I was just check. I got my perspective all wonky. I'm gonna play in thir uh, third person because it's easier to watch the action. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play in third person because it's easier to watch the action. Mac and John, both shot too. Yep. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. Damn. Wow. Bad business, all right. To activate, yeah, to activate cinematic camera. No. Yeah, damn cinematic camera. No, I'm not gonna toggle that in general. Well, Javier's got a poncho, so he's smart. On top of the coat. You guys let me know if the audio levels are, uh,. If I'm too high and the game audio is too low, if you can't hear the story, but that's the reason why I put subtitles up. You also let me know if you'd like the first person camera, too, because Watch just because. Because, you know. Whoa, hey, hey, hey! Oh. Snow here. I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Right, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. Well, I will say this: Arthur Morgan is definitely uh, a very sensible protagonist, if nothing else, in regards to this. Almost there, boy. Come on now. I'm not crazy about having to manage this, the health and stamina. Hey, look. Yeah, I'm not crazy about having to manage, like, the health and the stamina. I wonder if, though, there are health upgrades that obviously increase those things. Uh, I'm sure there will be. So, eh, we'll see. Try not to get too invested in the menus. Oh, well, there's a dead body of some description. Oh, no. Blackwater. Let's see if he can hear us. I hope you didn't trigger an avalanche. Come on. Up there. I hope you didn't trigger an avalanche, Javier. That would have been Arriba. terrible. Yes, Arriba! Go, Andale! Well, somebody's up here. Doesn't sound like John. I grabbed that shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? Sounds smart. Especially because I know that's not John Ma Marston. Tennessee Walker? Uh. Oh. Hold weapon wheel. Sawed off. Okay. 
Oh, okay, so it's a sidearm. Oh, Tennessee Walker's the name of the horse. Oh, God, that's... Thanks, thanks, Red Dead. That was totally necessary to see the horse crapping. I know it's, I know it's realistic and stuff, but it's like, really? Did we really need to see that? <laughs> sure. You sure about this? Over here! Ah! It's coming from this way. Okay. Watch out here. Well, I got a sawed-off shotgun. No kidding. No kidding. I would be like, uh, hell to the no. I don't care how good a friend John, or a member, a value member of my gang, John Marston is. Uh, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's on his own because of how, because of how, uh, high up it is. Heights and me, no bueno. Orange Lantern, no likey heights. Yeah, Orange Lantern, no likey heights. Okay. I do love, like, again, the Wild West weapons. Uh, again. I'm not moving that fast, so I don't get it. Come on. Uh, I'm trying. Closer now. Come on. Ah, Come on. why won't you climb? Unless. No. Okay. Okay, that was weird. I didn't real. I tried to press. Uh, the I pressed the buttons at the same time, and I could have swore it went off, but I guess We're it didn't. Coming, John. Come on. Really? Come on. Oh, it's the X button. My bad. I couldn't see it because my broadcast bar was obscuring my view. That's my bad. Yep, okay, it's the X button. <sighs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't even know where you guys are. Wyoming? Montana? How you doing? I'm miserable. Been a tough few days. No kidding. I know. He's got whiskey. Here. Take a drink of that. Thanks. I'm not this Bourbon. No. no kidding. Let's keep moving then. Come on. John, can you hear me? Marsh! In case, in case you needed to know if it was John Marston or some other different John, and Abigail for the first game didn't, and uh, Jack didn't give it away to you, also, also, I'm not sure how I feel about the, uh, having to eat and, uh, about having to eat and to, uh, maintain stamina. Like, on one hand, I like it, uh, from a perspective of being interesting, uh, but at the same time, I mean, to maintain those things in a video game, uh, it's just, eh, I don't know. It really, 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 really. I, I really, really don't know how that's going to play when it comes to the game. I might love it. I might hate it. Um, I'm definitely not opposed to it. I just don't necessarily like the survival systems in general. John, where are you? Yeah, that's way too shrill to be John Marston unless you change voice actors. I got to get used to not hitting the crouch button. Down on the ledge. That's John. Oh, it is John. Hey. Oh, it is John. You just sounded very shrill. I suppose he's uh down here. Over here. All right. Hot down, Marston. Oh. Shit. Yeah, that's he's quite a scratch you got there. Oh. Oh, that's how he got his scar. Is, 
Good to see you, Arthur Morgan. So that's how he got the scar on his face from the first game. I was wondering how he got that scar. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. Damn. I'm freezing. But that, so that explains a lot. Yeehaw. Yippee-ki-yay, motherfucker. Let's get you the hell out of here, Marshall. Oh, I am actually controlling this. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry side? Can't argue with you there. See, I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. Uh, you all right? I don't think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. Hopefully. I don't like your tone. Am I still? Uh oh, wolves. That's no good. And I brought a sawed-off shotgun out a revolver. Go. Draw them off. Okay, here we go, John. We'll leave them to Arthur. Oh crap. This is gonna end badly. Yeah, this is gonna end badly. Oh crap. Ah no. Okay, uh yeah, that ended about as badly as I expected. Uh, this is what happens when you use a shotgun against well, I suppose the shotgun is more is probably better for fighting off the wolves, but still. You head for the horses. I'll keep John's friends off until you're clear. Baying for the wolves. Here we go, John. We'll leave them to Arthur. Baying for the wolves. Um, I do like that that you have the ability to like with the with the trigger. I do like that you have the ability with the trigger to, uh... I do like that you have the ability with the trigger to, uh, like, uh... I do wish you could reload. I do wish that you had the ability to reload uh, outside of your gun running dry. I don't know if that's a thing that is just restricted in these tutorials. Perhaps it is. But, you know, hey, fighting off wildlife, all that stuff. Um, like I said, I don't know if I like the, the food and the hunger mechanic for stamina and stuff. We'll see. I mean, for the horse, it definitely makes sense for stamina and health. And, like, the health and stamina mechanics themselves make sense. I just hope that it's not like you have to maintain those things as you play by constantly like eating and stuff. Also, again, I, I, I just feel like I should mention great continuity. I know this is a prequel, but finally getting to see where Marston got that scar from on his face that almost defined him, his face character wise. Uh, that's kind of cool. Arthur Morgan's not a... Not too bad himself. He's a pretty cool protagonist. And I like the idea that you have, uh... You have the, uh... Ability to, uh... Mount your horse. Come on, uh, then. Let's get back to the others. Ah. Yeehaw, Tennessee Walker. Let's do it. Got bit by a dog. Died an hour later. Rabies. Not yet. Probably because he was that said dog was rabid, John Marston. More coming down the hill. 
Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I can't call him. Uh, uh, I'm trying. There we go. Whew. You see any more up there? No, think so. Jesus. You still with us, Marston? Just about. You're gonna be okay. We have some shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. No Arthur kidding. always says, I'm lucky. <laughs> None of us are lucky right now. No kidding. Sure yeah, I know. in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're going to need to come up with a better story for that scar. Than wolves? So, freezing, bleeding, starving. Them near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Nah, you can do better than that. One thing you ain't short on is fantasy. Huh? Let's cross to the left. All right, Javier. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. It actually makes me wonder. See those uh, buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. You know, part of me, I, I, sorry I keep pausing it, part of me actually does want to go back and replay Red Dead Redemption 1 to see uh, how many members of Marston's old gang that are in this prequel we ended up hunting down. Because like I said, Red Dead Redemption, the first one, is almost a 15-year-old game now, and I haven't played Red Dead Redemption 1 in almost a decade. So, uh, like I said, my, my recollection on the thought, on the plot, uh, I should say, is fairly fuzzy. Even in a, on a good day. I remember, I mean, don't get me wrong, I get the, I remember the basics of the plot. But... Come on! Someone help John down off this horse! Can we get some help here? And they're gone, right? They left us, right? That's what we're going to find out. Um, because, uh, but I do, I mean, I do remember like the basics of the plot and, uh, but you know, it's a rock star game and open world games, you know, with all the side quests and stuff, they, they can have some, sometimes depending on how many times you play them and stuff like that, that helps you remember more, but yeah, I, I digress. Where is everybody? Yeah, they gone. They gone. Come on, help him down. Oh, never mind. They're here. Here we go. There we go. Ay, careful, idiotas. It's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you more. Idiotas. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. Really? Really, Abigail? Have you got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're going to get out of this? I was right. Just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather Herr breaks. Herr Strauss. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East into all that. That east. civilization. I know. East. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, right. Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Moggy. We actually have a German of in our uh, Wild West party. He must. I wonder if he's the doctor. We have been running for weeks. Achievement unlocked. Just a scratch. We found shelter and been Enter. Pursued by a memory. Abandoned mine in town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. A journal. Nice. New journal. Outlaws from the West. Abigail Roberts. Soon to be Abigail Marston, because I, I take it they aren't married yet. Okay, that's nice. That's cool. Journal. 
Notes and interesting locations and events. Search drawer. Haven't we... Speak to Bill, speak to Mr. Parsons. You picked up an open item. Provide half the uh, benefits of new items. Okay, that's fine. How have we not searched all this stuff? Can't carry any more of this item. Okay. Okay. Good to know. We got this. We're safe. Stay strong, Jose. Oh, it actually it actually tells you what temperature it is. Coulter. I'm sorry, I'm trying to find I'm trying to find my There we go. Ah. Okay. All right. And the money's well hidden in Blackwater? I believe so. And they don't even know we dumped it. Oh, uh, well, you can wait then. Must have been a heist well, of a... Well, stay strong. Thank you, Arthur. Must have been a heist for the century. Can we talk to you at all? We weren't Who's... there, Jose. I'm aware of that. And they shouldn't have been either. Oh, we can't change nothing now. Well, just hang in there. All right, Arthur. It is kind of odd, you know, to talk, to just talk with them using the triangle button. But I do like that. Okay, so let's go... Where are we going to go? We got to go to one homestead. That is that is an old mining camp. I want to see... I want to check on John and Abigail if possible. I know this isn't the way we have to go, but... So there's our, our horse, Tennessee Whiskey, which is just an awesome name for a horse, might I add. It's okay. S S Sadie... Oh. Oh, this is the women. This is the women's cabin. She'll be okay, Arthur. I'm sure she will, Mary Beth. You done the best you can with this place, Miss Grimshaw. It could be worse, given the circumstances. No doubt. Hey, little Jack. Keep warm. All of you, keep warm. Just a few more days, and we'll get off this hill. I hope so. Stay strong. You've been happier been now, Jack. I know. Will he be okay? Had tough times yeah, before. I think so. Keep moving. Just needs to rest. We keep together. Stay in the sure thing, little Jack. All of you. Ain't that so, Mr. Morgan? Of course. Okay. Can't talk. Strauss. Hey, Mr. Strauss. I think so. Well done for finding Mr. Marston. Some good news at least. Yep. He seeketh unto him a cunning. Reverend Swanson, okay. So they have a they have a preacher, too? Hey, how's he doing? He's okay. He just needs some rest. Thank you again, Arthur. That's alright. Keep him warm. Anyway. Try not to worry. What a mess this all is. is sure sounds like it. Sure sounds like it. The it just need some thaw so we can get those wagons out. I know. We'll be okay. And them out oh, excuse me. To dwell in. That bringeth the princes just look to after her. I'll do my best. The judges of the Poor woman. Has Been through a lot. Yay. Yep. They shall we got a Karen along with us too. Alright. Sorry, Reverend. Mm -hmm. 
shall take them away as stubble. To whom then will ye liken me, or shall I be equal, saith the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high, and behold, who hath created these things, that bringeth out their host by number, and calleth them all by name. Fair enough, Reverend. Alright, let's talk to the other people that we're actually supposed to talk to. <clears throat> Yikes. Stay alert there, Javier. Another cold morning. How are you feeling? I'm okay. Better than most. I believe you. Come with you, boys, because I Old friends. I action. A couple of days on the lamb, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you. Cool. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. Shut guess, up, Micah. I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> Damn it. I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it. Now. Damn it. You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Folks been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. Nope, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This yeah. is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Combe always had good information. Come on. Hmm. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you... My fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscoll's about. Yeah. Okay, so old friends. I got a lasso and I got a cowboy repeater. Nice. Paul Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this store of their planet. Okay. I get getting ahead of the game, but almost feels a little foolish. I mean, it's one thing to want to hunt down the Eldriscolls and, like, take them out before they get us, but to go after this thing that they're planning to do? That? Tracks. Horses, quite a few of them. Javier and Micah are with us. Tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen. I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. Oh. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yeah. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. So what, he killed... So, what, did... Yeah, so what Arthur Morgan is saying, though, you killed his brother, so he, what, killed your sister? Killed your wife there, Dutch? 
I mean, because if that's the case, then, you know, kind of hard not to be surprised by that. Also, such a cowboy name, Dutch. That's, like, awesome. We haven't gotten to the open world part yet. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. <clears throat> yeah, we're not near the open world part yet of the game, I would imagine. The snow effects for the graphics alone are amazing. Okay. What are you doing? All right, gentlemen. This is it. Are we goddamn ready? ready? Ready, Dutch. Good. Oh. Now. A couple other guys. Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. Smart. Two by two by two. Um, I'm trying to get to the... I thought you were going with Dutch. I was. I was trying to get the gun. Because I thought that's what I needed to do. Oh, nice. We get binoculars, too. I have a little bit of I have a little bit of control over this. That's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. Really? No sniper up at the water tower? That's a stupid idea. Then again, these guys are uh, not necessarily known for being smart, I would imagine. You have to just exit now. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. I can't tell. Ooh, they're slapping each other. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. Come on, let's get down there. Really? Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. Uh-huh. Weapons not Boy, set in your loadout will remain dismounting before dismounting will remain with your horse. Okay. Yeah, I want to I want the revolver. So we can carry two weapons. Seems easiest to take the same path down as Bill and Micah. Like you said, is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur. Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including Comb, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now, come on. Okay. I don't know if I believe you, but... I'll roll with it, Dutch. Already got three guns. Shotgun, revolver... And the repeater rifle. Can I get more dialogue if I...
Okay. No, I can't get more dialogue by talking Dutch. Okay. I mean, I have my weapon ready just in case. It's steep here. Careful. Oh, it looks like they might have actually taken the opportunity to plant a guy up at the water tower after all. I really hope there's not a lot of treasure hunt objectives. But it's an open world game, so I'm sure there will be. <clears throat> Sounds like a nice little feud of a happy family down there amongst the outlaws. Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running. Mm -hmm. Let's just get down there first. Heh, <laughs> no kidding. Follow me. Let's head for that building in front. Hey, anybody sees me? Can't get what he's hunting with the others. Son of a bitch is meant to be on guard duty. Heh. I yeah. And you can tell that they're Irish. You can hear the guy that one guy's faint Irish accent, so they're made up of partially Irish immigrants. And that's just something that tickles me. I mean, there were a lot of Irish immigrants back in, like, the 1800s. So it makes sense that a lot of them would be, you know, like, make Irish cowboys. So, yeah. I, I didn't mean to hit the lasso button. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. Make the call, Arthur. Okay. I'll go first. Fella didn't have much choice than picking his teeth off the floor. Got him. Oh, that was an awesome shot. That was an awesome shot. I love that. Irish. Irish. Okay. So we're locked on here. Damn it. I wonder what kind of other cartridges we get besides regular. That would be interesting. Yep, there's the guy. Oh, God, I love that. That's awesome. It's like Sniper Elite. It's like Sniper Elite, which uh, is a game that I haven't played, but I know for a fact has, like, that bullet, like, uh, slow-mo cam for, like, kills when you make them. So it's really cool. Yeah? What else is new? Coward, coward's gonna hide. Damn it. Alright. Yes, Dutch. That was... That was totally the plan, so shut up. Shut up! Uh, it's called I Don't Have a Line of Sight on them, Dutch. I'm actually doing pretty good health-wise, it looks like. Looting them, okay. All right. Any of, them, Dutch? of course not. Cole doesn't give a damn about his men. All he cares about is numbers. 
if you could shoot a gun and ride a horse and kill without thought, you're in. That's a uh, hell of a way to put it. Heads up, boys! We got more coming in from the forest. Crap! I knew that was too easy. How do I activate Dead Eye? Damn stream bar. How do I activate the sh Dead Eye? Stupid stream bar. Okay, I should have guessed. Right trigger. Oh, okay. There's a lot of cover. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of cover here, so, uh... Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of cover here, so it makes sense to stay behind, or to stay behind. Yeah, it makes sense to stay behind while they're in the trees here. Oh, crap. Maybe we should have advanced to keep the, pre to keep the pressure on them. Yeesh. We're doing pretty good, though. Just aim for the center of mass. And uh, that seems to be working pretty good. Because... Oh! The cowards are running away. Good work, boys. Back to the camp. We'll get what we need and clear out. Yep. More, uh, more loot and junk to sell. Arthur, get over here. Shut up, old friend. We're waiting on you, Arthur. Why? Yeah, I don't. I've got that already. We don't have time to mess around good work boys now let's tear this place apart <clears throat> bill you go search that wagon there michael search that building arthur you take that building to the left all right man quick find those detonators explosives anything you can let's go okay Let's take all their food. Cigar. Chewing tobacco. Kentucky bourbon. Dynamite. Hey, this looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. Smells good. Come on. Okay. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. Okie dokie. All right. Let's get out of here. Proud yep. Of you boys, all of you, not a man down. Yep. Good work, fellers. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us hard as they like, <coughs> but we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. 
Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Mac, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get combed, but this head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Huh? Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, indeed. he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're going to stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. Okay, Dutch. Nobody else really has anything to say. I wonder what all the uh, other miscellaneous stuff that I've been collecting, like the tobacco and the gold pocket watches, is going to be for. Because, obviously, we don't keep it. Obviously, we don't use it. It's like the same thing with like the cigars and stuff. Obviously, we don't use it. All right, dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. <clears throat> Game's auto running for me, or at least it was. You see that fella? Was he at the camp with Cole? Leave him to me. All right. We're heading back. Just bring him back alive. He could be useful. Okay, you got it. Okay. Why do I always have to get the grunt work? Yeah. Come on. Okay. Damn it. Stay back. Horse riding level increased, huh? Uh, right. I'm sorry. I gotta get. I'm just What's kind of name, getting. I don't the... know. You don't know your name. It's Karen. Karen what? Duffy. Karen Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Karen Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please. Damn. I mean, it figures we had to be introduced to the, uh, to the cattle or to the roping stuff. And by the cattle roping, I mean the, uh, uh, you, uh, the outlaw roping stuff somehow. Uh, that actually went pretty well. <clears throat> You're hurting me. Oh, boy, oh. Haven't even begun to hurt ya. I hardly know him. You better shut 
your mouth, you little shit, or I will shut it for you. <laughs> Please, I'll do anything. Come on, just name your price. They don't tell me nothing, I swear. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay, okay. That's two bones right there. Damn. But yeah, I'm kind of curious what the hell, uh... Or you do with like the gold pocket watches and stuff you collect like how much money you can make uh with like the junk and stuff and how much you have to like buy in the game should be interesting Introduce you to the boys. Don't hurt me, please. Oh, don't worry. They're real nice. Heh, <laughs> not really. Found a little shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh no, now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. Huh. We shoot fellas. As need shooting. Save fellas. Is need saving, and feed him. Is need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it. An O'Driscoll in my camp. No, I ain't an O'Driscoll, Mister. I, I hate that fella. Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. Mission complete. Old friends. Oh no, never mind. Maybe. Yeah. Yep, old friends. Morning. Morning. Oh, that's the call of the horse. I didn't want to call my horse. Oh, coat, mahogany bay. Okay. This is your main horse. Okay. That's kind of nice. I didn't realize that was how this worked. I wanted to see... Yeah, there we go. Damn, it got even colder. Weather-wise. Uh, let's see here. I thought my stamina would get a little bit better, but I guess it didn't. All right. <coughs> oh, hey, Hunter. Death up here, Mr. <coughs> Hey, Pearson. We're okay. We have a few cases. Aftermath of Genesis. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. 
We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent <laughs> Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough nothing. of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a okay. second. Okay. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something neat out there. Assorted salted offal. <laughs> Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if there's game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. Okay. <coughs> AKA, AKA, let's go and do uh, learn the hunting mechanics. Here, you take this. I a can't bow. use it. You'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. That's true. Too old to learn, I imagine. That's true, but ah, uh, damn it! I hate, I hate bows. Well, actually, no, I shouldn't say that. I don't hate like using bows in video games. I just never. Up, Hunting is not. Okay. Apart from this hand, stupid mistake. Still bad. Oh, You'll okay. In a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. I uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. So, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way, find some higher ground. Okay. <sighs> Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater. Getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. Yeah, well, it I sounds. Well, told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. No kidding. Yeah, it doesn't sound like... We'll know what happened on the boat. Anytime soon. I just hope that we don't have to do like hunting as like a core part of the game. Yep. Stay quiet. Yep. As uh, somebody who's hunted deer in the past, I can tell you that that is a very true statement with the wind. Hey. That it's got to be something. just right. See something. <sighs> Has deer been here recently? How can you tell? How can you not? We'll track them on foot. You're gonna need okay. a bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun will scare everything around. Yeah. All right, fine. Oh, so we can actually put uh, we can actually put three things together. That's kind of cool. Slowly. Okay. 
Yeah. You see the tracks? I think so. Maybe not. Focus. You can use eagle eye. Up. Uh, ah, damn it. Stupid progress or stupid uh Twitch stream bar. Sorry. General. Okay, so where's Eagle Eye? <clears throat> oh, excuse me. How do you do the Eagle Eye here? Oh, god dang it. A weapon's condition? Degrades too? Really? Ugh. Great. I can't see what I need to do. Ugh. Controls. Uh. Oh, gosh, really? Uh. Okay. Uh. What is it? What is it? I can't see what this is. I can't. What? What? Oh. No, that's not it either. What the heck? Ah! I'm so embarrassed. I can't freaking see because of my stream bar it's one of the few problems is when you got a game with tutorials so I can't see Oh, you got to click both analog sticks at the same time. Ah, I feel so stupid. I should have been able to figure that out.
Sorry, just taking a, a deep breath here to kind of re, uh, resituate myself. All right. <sighs> All right. Let's get some deer. Oh, now I see it. It's easier in the snow, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track nearly as well in grass and woods. Right. Indeed. I just hope I don't have to do a lot of hunting. <sighs> but yeah, I hope everybody's enjoying my first ever playthrough of RDR2. That is kind of cool, honestly. I don't remember uh, it being as in-depth as it was in the first one. I've been having a lot of fun with this. Uh, the tutorials are a bit annoying, but I mean, Wait, when look. you got an open-world yeah, game yeah. like this, you've got Quick, to, you know... But when you've got a game like this, got it. Okay. <sighs> I was getting a little too. Uh... Damn it! Ah. <sighs> uh... Sorry. <sighs> Stupid stamina. Got it. See if you can get another one. Where? I don't see another one. I don't see another one, Charles. Yeah, I don't see another one. Love to. Where is it? Where is it? Across the way? Am I just dumb? I can't see it. Yeah, I don't see it. Oh, there's one. I see. So it's across the way. Huh. <sighs> Right. Of course, you can get your arrows back because, well, that just kind of makes sense, don't it? Well done. I think 
That's all we can carry. Victory. Hey, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay. Okie dokie. White tailed deer. And we got the compiendum. Uh, and now that's unlocked. White-tailed deer. Found in a variety. Most common in certain ha habitats. Poison arrows. Nice. Oh, great. There's cooking, too. <laughs> Six gangs, huh? The Driscoll boys. Or the old Driscoll boys, huh? This is kind of cool, though. Cigarette cards. Vistas of America, huh? Well, that's kind of cool. Although now I dread uh, having to try and find all those, too. Because, uh, well, now what the heck else am I going to find? <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, well. Or how else am I going to find, or how, like, 144 cigarette cards. Yay! I totally look forward to doing all of those. Then again, I suppose it wouldn't be the, the first time we've had... Where the hell are you going, horse? Get your stinking butt over here, Tennessee Whiskey. It's not my horse. There you go, Tennessee Whiskey. What the heck, man? Uh Yes, Charles. <clears throat> Ready to head back when you are. Come on, then. Let's head back. All right. So we got a lot of weapons. At nice Pearson's, work, okay. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Yeah. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Yeah. Soon, people are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They yep. don't know where until we get some more thaw. Yep. And you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what that? We still have a big price on our heads. Yeah. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. Whoa! Jose. You notice how Pierce has <coughs> had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? Yeah. We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've yeah. only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding the old Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl, she has a wild look in her eye. 
Yeah. Of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything yeah. she had. So what no do we kidding. do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Yep. Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. Huh. I guess because they've been over this way. Now, yeah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Combe, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. He's got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. No need to push our luck. You must okay. Be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Right? Yeah, I bet. Whoa. Gia. To be fair, it can snow in the May. It can snow in May and stuff. Also, I, I see that I'm, I'm raising my stats with my horse just by riding. So, I also hate the fact that I cut off the dialogue while riding. Okay. Talk that much, you and me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. Damn. You didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... No, you could run it alone, no problem. I did hmm. that for a long time. Hmm. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. It sounds like there. it. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't huh. normally the case. But yeah, that is interesting. We need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh. Twenty years, something like that. Shit. Since I was a boy. Oh, watch it. Twenty years? Yeah. Taught me to read. John, too. Taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why huh. we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. That's nice. Yeah, I just didn't want to cut off the dialogue again because it sounded I'll like. For now, I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's yeah. a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Hucked me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm taking it kind of deliberately slow. I just don't want to uh, miss any of the, the flavor dialogue because that's part of the fun of these big adventures in Rockstar and stuff. <clears throat> it's 
So we'll have completed the second side mission. I say side mission, it's going to advance the story, but... Just getting used to all the weapons and stuff. Tutorial might be over sooner or later. Oh. Top of my screen is tearing. And and by that I mean the game screen is tearing. Not... Not, uh... Yeah. Yeah, the game screen was kind of flickering a little bit and tearing. Not, uh... Not the actual, my actual TV. That would have scared me more. Thank you for showing me how to use the boat properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Oh, goody. Good job, deer. Thank you. Deer's good eating, by the way. Yeah, deer is good eating, by the way. Trust me. Just drop it down in here. What a surprise. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Why, he loves me, really. It's his <laughs> sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now, shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if sure. we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> you always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. That's I really try. Job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one, you, you dumped on the floor there. Fine. Well, look away uh, if you don't like. Oh my gosh, that is that is actually really gruesome detail. Sorry Not if you are bad, Mr. Morgan. Uh, yeah. interested. They always said or, you were a butcher. You know, uh, you can trade these or sell these in pretty much any town if you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. I'm well, sorry if you, you love animals. Else, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> Damn. A few days later, you've unlocked the Master Hunter Challenge. Oh, goody. It's been a bad few weeks. But <clears throat> Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans. And Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Hmm. Who the hell is Leviticus Cornwall? Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You're still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, you just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but... Look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch? Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. Oh. See me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man. Bill! Now, you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. 
Everything we have is in black water. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... Yeah. I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice yeah. have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is yeah. time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Sorry, Hosea. You've been overrid You've been overridden. Everyone I do actually... Sorry again to pause. Um, I am kind of curious now if uh, John Marston Chapter 1. Oh, nice. It actually tells us the story. And, and we can replay the missions. <clears throat> Fled from Blackwater into the Grizzly Mountains. Late spring storm has left them all up an abandoned mining town. Yep. I'm actually kind of curious as to whether or not uh, John Marston's voice actor is in fact the same as uh, the one in uh, the original Red Dead. It sounds very much the same. It wouldn't surprise me. Are we still Arthur? Doesn't look like we're Arthur. I... Yeah, we are Arthur. I, I just realized we changed coats. Okay, gentlemen. Listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're going to pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised hmm. spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep a lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take <clears> the driver <throat> and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem yeah. with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You yeah, no kidding. Yourself, huh? Enough. After Bill blows the tracks, we're going to need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Yes, sir. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now, come on. Let's ride. Hooah. Uh, great. I gotta be stuck with the crazy guy, Micah. That's just fantastic. Good music. I mean, that's to be expected, but yeah. Out of the snow, finally. Feels good, doesn't it? But we need to get this done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back 
When I say we go back, and that's the end of it. The money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money, once we work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. Hell yeah. Old Wild Where's West train robbery. Out? Hold up here on the ridge. Hell yeah, old Wild West train robbery. I'm definitely going to try to get past the uh, prologue chapter here, if you will. Maybe it's not even a prologue there? anymore. Yeah. You want to head down, see how he's getting on? Okay. Uh. Yeah, good boy. Alright, check on Bill by the water tower. Okay. All right, Maybe Wild Bill. Yeah. yeah, I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. All right. Good old dynamite. Ooh, it's a butterfly. Look at that. Okay, this is good. All right. That should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Sounds good. Boy. Good boy. Oh, so you can't carry your gun on your back. All of you, no mistakes. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. Sorry, just trying to see here now. Includes you, Arthur. <laughs> Why are you doing this, Arthur? Just pull up your band. Oh, I'm sorry. Jeez, I didn't know. I didn't know. That's my bad. <clears throat> Gentlemen, I suppose it makes sense. I suppose that makes sense, though. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Here we go. Shit. Oh crap! 
gotta be kidding me. Where did you find that moron? You said it was fine. It was my fault. Come on! You're pathetic. You know that? Damn it. Crap. Well, of course nothing goes to plan, and of course we can't have nice explosions. Ah, oh, come on! I wasn't fast enough. Yeah, I missed the train. That's one way of saying I died. <laughs> oh, God. Uh. Here we go, we go. Hang on. Oh no, we lost one. All right, help Charles. Oh, Lanny, Lenny, I should say. He didn't make he it. The others will get him. You and me, big man. Okay. Come on, we need to stop this train. Very classy. Potent bitters. Consume yellow tonics to fortify bars. Fortified bars. I didn't... Yeah, I know. Yeah. Should we move up? Yes, shut up. That's awesome. Sorry. Have to stop this train. I'm going up. That's what we're doing. We have to kid. stop this train. We best get up there. Um. Okay. Come on, let's get to the front. I'm working on it. I just. What the hell? What the hell? Uh, oh yeah, pull up to climb. Ugh, I forgot. I forgot how to do that. I, I completely forgot that. <sighs> that was on me. That one was on me. I thought you had to skirt around the train or go through the cars and ah, we gotta go back now. No, we need to stop this train.
Yep, unload an entire clip on them. Let's keep moving. Yeah, shut up. There we go. Yep. Lenny. Shut up! Yeah, can you please not? Oh! Holy cow! Nice, nice job, Conductor. Oh, B, 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 B. Sorry. Oh my god, why did you have to do that? That was, that was cruel, man. That was pretty cruel. Well, we're gonna stop the train one way or another. We can loot everything else. Boom! Headshot. Yeah, they ain't they ain't throwing their lives away to guard uh, red to guard red. Yeah, they ain't throwing their lives away to guard red or something. That's a good question. Where are the others? Oh, I know we are. Hey, there's the other boy. Took you long enough. You know what? I can see now why the old Driscoll's brought so many boys up here for this. Yeah, no kidding. Well, we screwed up. Whoopsie. Um, <sighs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> all right, let's get ready to get chewed out here. You two all right? Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning oh. on doing in there? Hosea is, is right. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me. We will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We are opening this door. Four. 
Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys, go blow that door open. Okay. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Now light the fuse. Here we go. And run. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellers. So who's Leviticus Cornwall then? Yes. So who's Leviticus Cornwall and why was Hosea so afraid of him? <laughs> Because it sounds like he's a big wig. And our gang just went from the fryer, the frying pan to the fire, rather. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> What's your You're just going to stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will you? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. I'll give you that. Letter from hey, Leviticus Cornwall to Leland Oil Campus Development. We have yet to receive $2,000 payment for the initial phase. Any unit reservation there. we agreed between and Leland Oil Company. On the receipt of the funds, we will proceed with phases two and three. That's how it's done. And present you with shit. Just a pile of papers. Christy. I don't think so. Here, make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. Railroad contracts, invoices, blah blah blah. You got anything? Platinum. Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies. A lot of sugar. Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe. Jameson Mining Company, dear Leviticus. Boat, as long as I live. Huh? <laughs> no kidding. After what happened in Blackwater. Have Interest in Jameson Mining Company. I'm working on it. Jeez, just shut up, guys. <clears throat> Coal industry works for, different from the mining industry in so many ways. I would be delight, delighted to host you in Ansberg and give you a personal tour of the mines. Any luck, Arthur? Nothing much yet. Well, yeah. Looking. Goddamn O'Driscolls. These just seem to be contracts. Arthur, have you looked down the end there? I'm working on it. I wish you guys would just leave me alone. Keep looking. There must be something. No, this looks like something. Like, seriously, I am kind of annoyed that they just, like, won't shut up while I'm looking and reading stuff. There's a bond. I think I got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> Ooh, a bill stack. Gems of Beauty card. Yay! Premium cigarettes and 25 bucks. Let's take a look at that card. Shall we? I'm sorry. It's in the compendium. Gems of Beauty, Layla Stetson. Nothing else to really say or see. Shut up! 
God, that's going to get annoying. Or that's annoying. What did you find? These bonds. They worth <clears> anything? <throat> oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? Huh. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Of course I gotta be left doing the dirty work. Okay. Get on the train. Quick. Hold it. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on. Move. We won't tell a soul, I swear. If I hear so much as a footstep from this car, you'll end up like all your friends out here. Come on. Okay. Apparently, I know how to drive a train. Just in case, let's see if I can grab anything that I missed. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm trying to f search this drawer here, there. Candy. Chocolate bar. So I got more than enough healing items. I'm guessing I'm going to be left for dead kind of thing here. With uh, what's going on with uh, everything here. Then again, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Yeah, I want to loot these guys and see if I can... <clears throat> huh. Well, it may not have gone an awful lot of hitch, but... We managed to get the job done. Fifty three cents. Okay. More snake oil. Can never have enough ammo. Thank you, Horsey, for being here. I feel sorry for what I did with the engineer. Oh yeah, that's right, my hat. A-hole engineer knocked it off of me. I thought about doing damage, more damage to Leviticus by not making uh, his uh, people available, but <clears throat> Put that book away and go help. Oh. eh. So 
So we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems to <clears throat> And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well, then let's go. <laughs> clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Sure. Yep, that's the end of the opening. sure there's no surprises we've had enough of those me with the boy just go come on kid you can buy me a whiskey yikes and now we're out of the snow nice cozy music Wagons, we go. Get us out the street. I'm working on it. Ah, I knew that was coming. Okay, let's take a look. You all right, it's like Does everything look all right. Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right. Let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. Yeah. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'll say less. Pick the wheel up. Ah, brute force. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. All right. What do you think? If they wanted uh -oh. trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push yeah. our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Yeah. All right, Hosea, you can tell us the story. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. We'll never okay, I see. Face. So, yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. Yes. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming yep. and grazing country. They lost it all. Stolen clean away from them it was. Every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. Yep. Sadly. Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Yep. Unpleasant. How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. No kidding. In spite of that, just talk. 
I fear yep. I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, wow. Don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Huh? So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to huh. really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. Damn. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother, took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. Huh. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls, our kind of place. Driscoll's? Probably them too. Pinkerton's? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, but what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but. We kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. Right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. Yeah. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the yep. way it is. Always has been. I want to hear now about Arthur Dutch. and uh, oh, Marston man, now. Gotta work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. I hope I didn't cut off any conversation. What are you working on there, anyway? <clears throat> Yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay, thank you. Ah. Idiot. Okay. Variety of plants, okay. Yeah, I hope I didn't miss any dialogue. Ginseng. Found in large palmate leaves. You get to learn a little bit of history here. You get to learn a little bit of history here, folks. Yeah, there's a lot of animals. I love how it says we're too hot, yet we can't take off our coats or anything like that hey, yet. Brother. Head in there. Follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Okay. Sounds good, Lenny. Okay, let's go. Hey. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. Or Javier. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. 
I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Well, only time will tell. Now, this is where we get to establish our long-term camp. The real question is... Home sweet home. The real question, then, will be... You weren't wrong, Jose. This place is perfect. Are. I hope so. <clears throat> Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now, it is time to prosper. Oh, After hey, that, Dutch. We're about to prosper in Blackwater. We're on to something big. Then yep. Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess yeah. I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a long way from a dream of virgin land in the west. I know, my brother. But we are safe. We make a bit of money here. Brother. Then we move again. Head out around them. Be west of Uncle Sam. In a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen. I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things <laughs> have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town. Means that the ladies are gonna have to. Livestock town, all mud. Means that the ladies. I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And uh, we need food, real food. That means every day, one of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls means that the ladies might have to be working, girl. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. Oh, God. Okay. Chapter 2, Horseshoe Overlook. <laughs> A couple weeks later. Back in the mud. Leaded chapter one. Got off the mountain. Rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartland. We've been this far east in many a year. Dutch hmm. seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier. In spite of black water and that whole mess. That we still haven't heard think, from. Let's talk to the they? camp here. Let's talk to the camp here. <laughs> Shall we? Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. 
I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> Let's talk to people then. A camera? You gain and lose weight will be shown in your in your health core. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. Yarrow. Huh. Oh, that's kind of neat. All right, let's talk to everybody here now. Your beard is getting long. You can use the shaving kit. Why would I want to? My dear boy. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first time in weeks, nothing. They're throwing a lot of stuff out of the at, at me now We're with the free side stuff. To plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it, and I ain't losing it now. Well, I should get Dutch. back to it. Okay. Dutch. Oh, there's so much to do, so much to see. Hello. Miss Gamble. Beatrice Morgan, his mother. Uh, so much so much to be thrown at us here, huh? Arthur's horseshoe, Arthur's father. Arthur's dog, Hosea. Uh. Nice. Sorry, I just kind of want to check out all this stuff. I don't... I can't remember if I got the DLC for the game or not. I don't think I did. Like that. Oh, somebody's playing music. I was trying to find the 
I was trying to find the, um... I was trying to find the, uh... Beard shaving kit, even though I'll probably end up keeping my beard long. There we go. You have no outfits suitable for cold weather on your horse? Well, I'm not too worried about that right now. Oh, here it is. There's the shaving kit. Trim. There we go. All right, what's this letter say? Molly's poem. I was a girl until your call commanded across the sea. Growing lovely, so small your land. I was a girl until your call. Enchanted your eyes and drawled. Wow, that's beautiful. Well done, Molly. American Eden. By Evelyn Miller. Huh. Good to know. What's wrong? Thought you'd be happy to be off that mountain. No, I don't know. You ain't been yourself for a while. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Talk to you later. Yeah, let's try to talk to people here. Uh, give money. That's my boys. Well, got to contribute a little bit. We got a spot for you here, Arthur. Oh, quiet, Jose. Thankfully, yes. Good. All right, we'll talk to people here. Drink it in. But we don't know for how long, so you best leave me to it. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Thanks. Not really as much dialogue as I'd hoped for, but still. I really hope I don't have to you don't have to keep your eye persistently on like food and hunger and stuff like that. Cuz that would get old fast. How you feel? Stronger, for sure. But not strong enough to work. All right, well, I should be getting on. Yep. Mr. Strauss. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Putting the world to rights there? Trying to, Mr. Morgan. Well, don't let me disturb you. Take care, Arthur. Can't read his stuff, can I? Let's talk to everybody else here in the camp what do you here. Think of this place, Susan? An improvement on the last, that's for sure. Well, that ain't too hard. Okay, well, let's talk more later. All right then, Arthur. Good morning. Glad to be off that mountain, Mr. Pearson. Yes, indeed. Lots to do now. Yeah, for all of us. You're Arthur, right? My 
My name ain't no concern of yours. <laughs> Ooh, who said that? You okay, Abigail? Settling in. Good. Well, I should get back to it. Take care, Arthur. Don't forget about me. I'm starving. Oh, you're still alive? I didn't realize you were even here. Okay. Poor guy. Did you and Micah see anything when you rode ahead? Nothing we need to worry about. Okay, good. Okay. More letters to inspect and collect. Lenny to father. In three days. Wow. Aw. I, uh, I was just trying to, I was just reading the letter in, internally. Discharge certificate. Hmm. Okay, then. <clears throat> I know it, it looks like I'm not, uh, doing much, but I am, uh, I am, uh, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to see and, uh, read here various things. So, Wow, Coulter. Dutch shot a girl. I'm not too sure if it was by accident or design. Seems like it might have been a setup. That seems a little better. Yep. Sorry. There we go. That's what I was like. Wait a minute. Okay. All right, here we go. Huh. <sighs> All right, where's... I want to talk to John, and I want to maybe talk to Jack if they're available before moving forward here. You okay there, Tilly? I'm okay. Warm, at least. Could do with getting out of here for a bit. I'm sure. All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay. All right, Mayor Biff. I'm bored out of my mind. Been cooped up for days. Well, bored is better than freezing. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sure. Hey! How you doing, Karen? Oh, all right, I guess. Grimshaw's driving me crazy. Well, so no change there. Anyway, I won't disturb you. 
Sure, Arthur. All right. Let's get my horse and get on with the getting on. Or either that or let's just talk with Uncle here and start the quest. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So... While the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses already. If you're going to take the old man into town, you can take us too? Well, what you got for Sure, ladies. Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready okay, to ladies. murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. <laughs> Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe All right, ladies. civilization feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are gonna love it. Okay then. Let's go. All right. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's stay out of trouble, ladies. Also, I wonder what happened to, uh, what's her name? Sadie. That we saved from the. From the place. Oh, got it. Oh God. Look at that coach. He's all over the place. Oh crap. Is one of you gonna get that fella's horse? Well, I got lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? You all right there, yeah, no friend? kidding. Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? I could. I'd really I don't appreciate want... the help. I I'm worried this one here will close on me too if I leave it. Yeah, yeah. It looks pretty spooked. Whoa there. Easy. Okay. Whoa, now, easy. Good girl. Okay. Wait. You're welcome, ladies. <laughs> here, here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just honor to level. The women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Okay. Well, so yeah, honorable. Okay. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> You're too.
turn it into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. I didn't have a choice. It means he got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one? And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, yes. I'm proud of you. To be honest, Aww. you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> no. Oh boy, train. Well, we got out of the way just in time. Whee! <clears throat> yeah, yeah. But yeah, I wonder what happened to the lady that we saved from that homestead in the very beginning of the game. Is she still with our our uh or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Wonder oh, where finally. Look at all that stuff. I wonder where she is. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. What's that supposed Take to mean? Good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. Church. <laughs> From the sound of things. Go left here, down the main street. Okay. Gare's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, yeah no kidding. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Yeah, no kidding. Wow. Park up down the end there, near the stables. Will do. All right, All right everybody. Here we are, just like I said, a cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at its finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble. and Don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. Paris and so that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the... One shot kid. <laughs> okay. Really? I'm not gonna ask why. Huh? You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. Huh? <laughs> Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Okay. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Let me know if you have any questions, fellas. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Okay. okay. Done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. Sure. Browse catalog. Or sell, actually. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff I can sell. Right? So... You're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. Well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. <laughs> nice. Nice. 
Horse Survivor, classic oat cakes. Oh, look at this. A jaw harp. What is this list of yours? I got a lot to replenish after that god awful time in the mountains. It's all done. Thank you kindly. Ah, it should do the trick. Buy some gun oil. That's fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. Yep, and then I get into a bar fight trying to protect them. Sorry, I just buying bait here. All right. Oh, uh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Oh, God. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out in there in New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They haven't gone oh, God. for a while. I guess I'll go yep. see if there's any trouble. Oh, yep. There's Tilly over Usually there. Usually is. That does yep. not look ideal. Excuse me. Nope. Time to punch out. You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me. Get off of me. I've been looking. Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You want to find out? I'll punch you. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go right away now. with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Yuck. Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. I wasn't gonna punch the guy out if I, unless I absolutely had to. I, d I do all I can manage. Are you doing all you can? Huh? You looking for a room? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid 20s, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. Okay. No trouble now, please. Not a... To see. Oh God! A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy! I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal! Come here! You gotta hit yeah. Hard. Well, my time. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him? Not very well. You okay? Damn. Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. I hope, uh, Keep investigating. Okay I will. Using their feminine charm. Uh, you. Damn. Poor Thank girl. You, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but. When I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched uh, me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, now. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. 
Where you from then? Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I shame. Come here. Cool. Get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Just bone it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. That's far enough. Well, I'm not going to hurt you. Whoa. Well, you're lucky. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now, please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Th then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, yeah. me too. <laughs> now, please pull me up. Please. I can't hold. Ah. All right. Come on. Tch. <laughs> You okay, partner? No. Sorry about that pause there. Um, I'm doing well, Anya. Thank you very much for following and uh, for the chat. I'm enjoying the game. Sorry, just a second here. All right, I'm going on mute here for a second. All right, back on Mike. Yeah, I mean, I'm doing well enough. I mean, you know, hanging in there as best as I can. How crazy the world has been. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best really, for Jimmy? both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh, here, 
You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> Thank you. But I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding. Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one cent in this year old mind. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Yeah. You too. Yes, okay. Oh. No. I didn't want to rest. I wanted to get on the horse here. To return the... Wanted to return the horse here. There we go. God, they throw a lot of stuff at you. Yeah, let's return the horse here. Be a good man, and then we'll uh, go a little bit further before we call it a stream. <laughs> There's a theater. Am I glad to see you? Here's your horse back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. Yeah, buddy. Another quest. Sorry, I was trying to pull up the map here. Javier's. Yeah, he's in town. Might as well do that. Yeah, might as well already... Might as well talk to these guys while they're here. They're not in the general store, probably. Probably in the saloon. Knowing cowboys. <laughs> ah, I should have known. Oh, Arthur, Arthur, come here, come here, come over here. I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> to meet oh, of course. You. Well, ain't you just a Hello, lovelies. mountain man. Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes. Damn. He's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was <laughs> talking to a lady. Excuse me. Oh, boy. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah. Regular Damn it. Dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, God. Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it Are easy, you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch him? Huh? Oh, oh, let me have our answer. Oh, God. Bar brawl. Oh, 
Oh, hold X to block, okay. Okay. Bill, Bill, Bill. Woo, nice. Oh, okay, so we level up our health here a bit. Come on. Sure, come on. How much health do you have? That's enough. What business is it of yours? <laughs> no business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Damn. Making new friends Ugh. again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Joe's oh, Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always <laughs> a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him. Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. 
It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. <laughs> Americans at rest. Ah. Okay. Corpse. I killed those guys? Okay. Damn. Okay, so we got quite a ways. Uh, let's just go down the street here and see what we've got. Hang on here, I'm just going off stream here to, or I'm just uh, muting to uh, message somebody here really quick. I'll be right back. All right, and I'm back. Ugh. Hello. Let's go find this stranger here and see what they have to say. I'll buy a newspaper. Well, thanks. New Hanover. Well, see you for the next one. New Hanover Gazette, huh? Just wanna get a drink. I'm parched. Well, how's things with you? Give a fellow a nickel. The liquor store, huh? All right. Pickled eggs and oatmeal is all they sell. What really happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76? Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history. Done and dusted. The dead got off lucky. The living got to keep suffering. Same as always. But did you shoot the Newton twins? I don't give a pig's penis about the Newton twins. Well, a girl, anyhow. <laughs> but you had been friends back in 73. You rode the Alabaster Trail together. Funny thing about pigs' penises. They're curly like their tails. 
<laughs> Put that in your fucking book, Plato. <sighs> this isn't going very well. Apparently not. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Luzi Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. Well, how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win, freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm going to write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's <laughs> your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you yeah. ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters, legends, every last one. Emmett Granger, Flacco Hernandez, Billy Midnight, Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity, shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. It does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. Nice. Okay, so how do I check the How do I check documents? Do I Uh, how do I check documents then? Oh, okay, I checked documents here. That's nice. Yeah. Black Bell, Maybell Elizabeth Coulter, Grand Dam of Gunslingers, and the Dynamite Dowage. Married six times to six gentlemen. Gamblers, gun robbers, outlaws, every single one of them. Never divorced. Dress, dresses in her widow's weeds. Sole remaining survivor of the cult of the Coulter Tilvin gang, outlawed after robbery in Rhodes. Private contract on her life or liver for her life or liberty large reward. Last reported by Mr. or in Blue near Blue Water Marsh. Do not approach. Dangerous. Too dangerous for mere biographer. And we can read the paper too. Philip Midnight. Born Willem Schnetchel, the man who killed Rabbit Matthews. Little known about Mr. Bi about Midnight before killing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thought to have been Matthews' rifle cleaner and stable boy. Known Cal New Calway then, overnight sensation and gained national celebrity. Speaking tours and reenactments from St. Louis to San Luis. Receive death threats. Save at Rhodes Trade Station. Okay. Laco Hernandez. The 
Terror of the Grizzlies, wanted in eight states. Run in with a gang of at least ten. Stone Cold Killers. Raids in Valentine, Ansberg, Strawberry, and Surrounds. Gazette reports. Hideout are the cults are deep in Grizzly Mountains. Unlikely proceed with caution. Huh. So do we have to go back to where we started then? <clears throat> Pervert, killer, hog, fancier. Beaver, rook. So, uh... Schaffrell. Bossy, gang arrest, witness, federal pardon. Present, keeper of hogs near Flat Lake Iron. Interviews refused. Okay. I can almost guarantee we're going to end up having to fight all of these guys. And the lady. Hey, What's the paper say about us? Private train owned by Magnate Levitas Cornwall uh, in broad daylight. Hi, mister. My masked outlaws headed north towards the Grizzlies. Outlaws boarded and stopped the train shortly after. Initial cable sent as print time indicated bloody takeover occurred to steal railway bonds and from personal car. Without delivery or cruise dangerous rate. Dangerous rate through, uh, survived the slaughter, but we're too startled. Huh. Well, there you go. Towards Anberg, huh? Bank boat heist. Okay. Dutch's boy is accused. Bounty's flaced. After a bloody shootout that resulted in the seizure of lard, quantities of banknotes being shipped by boat Pinkerton agency officials. I restricted access to the town of Blackwater. Officials used uh, or issued lice or bounties on the heads of Dutch Vanderlind and gang, commonly known as Dutch Boys. Dutch's Boys. Banks looked to be ship shipping. Looked to shipping assets by water as more reliable means of transport impervious from thieves. Deadly attack. One hundred and fifty grand. Dang. Authorities believe the men to have stashed the money before leaving. Residents view lockdown with contempt. Businesses depend on shipments for goods. Categories and complain the Pinkertons have caused an unnecessary burden to life and welfare. Blizzard aftermath in the Grizzlies. Snowmelt worries in flood prone area. Hmm. Snow as often measuring your foot. Snow melt will come warrant, which downstream, yada yada yada. Huh. Land of the lawless, family murdered. Oh, okay. <clears throat> but one taller, the death found by his mark. Wife Isabella stood in the ground and fired at bandits. Oh no. That's terrible. Wow. Wow. Driscoll ain't, uh, ain't kidding. Wow. Reverend Alex Hughes shot and killed for voicing his concern for safety of women. A shameful tragedy led by Colm O'Driscoll and his gang. Stagecoaches, New Hanover, and West Bank. Banks near the region not satisfied with the riches and the plunder. Delight and tortures. Oh, God. Yeah. Mm. Heresy. Religious sect recruiting. Citizens of Valentine protest. <laughs> Shinolonism? Um, okay. Protest, blasphemy, homegrown religious movement. They claim the true Bible was handed down a hundred years ago. Local religious leaders warn Shalonians hold the turtle to be sacred and never and consider them to be the body of holy animals, never to be harmed. 
Ah, so they take the Hindu approach of holding a sacred animal. Mexican border dispute de intensifies. Okay. Not since R Ramirez, Francisco Ramirez seized the presidency of Mexico in a bloody coup. Have the tensions been so strained? General Torres placed. Blah, 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 blah. In retaliation. Yeah, that's pretty much the the history of this time frame. Very uh, institutionalist, nationalist, trying to hold ground. President called and said that the U.S. has been including helping end the Apache Wars. Search for ancient bones. Yeesh, this, they actually give you your money's worth. Geological Wonderland, Deborah McGinnis. In this dinosaur which claims she could she claims could fly, huh? Several universities have rejected her work, saying Miss McGinnis would be better. Well, I hope we find Miss McGinnis then. Uh oh. Bubonic plague spreads. Epidemic broken out in India and Hong Kong. Yeah, it fits that time frame. Spread to our troops in the Philippines. Several soldiers have died in Manila. Loathsome disease, despite all efforts to sanitize and stamp it out. In New York and St. Denise. Uh, plague victims. Anybody suspected should be immediately burned. War breaks out in the Philippines. Again, very true to actual history. The Philippines did, in fact, fight for their independence around this time frame. The War Department expects as is strong in the Philippines are all Bowie knives and other handcrafted weapons has been contentious. Yep, mm -hmm, pretty much. Bear attacks worry residents. Man killed while hunting. A reward of $10. Wow, they really, the art of angling fish. Wow. I'll read this one. Lugil. As I have often told keen re readers of this column, fishing is, for those who intelligent enough uh, to see it, really the best way to dis understand humanity in all its glory. As a famous angler, writer, and dare I say philosopher, I am used to the perils of celebrity. Once while signing an autograph for a polio-stricken youth in Kuala Lumpur, or Kuala Lumpur, he asked me my thoughts on fishing all in the rain. Why, that's the best time to fish, you little fellow. I laughed heartily, slapping him on the back and accusing and causing him to cough mightily and, quite frankly, embarrass both of us. Poor little chap. Life can be very unfair. Fishing has taught me that. I always say that some of the deepest introspection into a man's soul happens when he stands in a torrential downpour. I was fishing in the rain using live bait near Scarlet Meadow, near, near Scarlet Meadows and hooked a monster bluegill. And yet, even I didn't even I didn't land him, so there's a metaphor for pretty much everything. Whoa. Well, uh, okay, we apparently had been reading the paper for a long, long time. So we're going to go to the hotel and we're going to sleep and then I'm going to call it a stream, guys, because I have been at it for a decent bit of time and uh, I do have some uh, other stuff to do today, but it has been uh, great to get started on this, on this game. Uh, and I look forward very much to continuing it. 7% completion. I very much look forward to uh, continuing this game. I really do. Um, now, my question, or now I think the, uh, I think I'm going to end up probably uh, coming back to it sooner rather than later. Red Dead Redemption 2? But, uh, well, yeah, I, uh, no, I don't know. It's uh, you. Yes, it is. Last time I checked. I, I really don't need any more trouble. I didn't come to make any. I was just protecting a lady. 
Well, all behind us now, I suppose. And so what is it you need? A, a bath, perhaps? I rented a room. I did rent a room, right? We'll take a bath and rent a room here. Oh, I didn't realize this was your room, bro. <sighs> scrubba, scrubba, scrubba. How'd you like some help in here? Sure, Except the Lux bath. Good. Now, don't you worry about a thing. You let me know if you need anything, all right? Okay. I'll be out of uh. your hair in no time. So, how are you doing? Yes, yeah, not too bad. Okay. I don't have gossip around here. Yes, that's how it is around here. Always been. All right. Not nearly as lewd as you guys as as it might have seemed to be. Let me know if you'd like a bit of an extra scrub anywhere. Uh All right, thank you very much, my lady. Let me know if I'm scrubbing too hard, okay? Okay, I don't think I'm going to get much cleaner than this. Thank you. Goodbye now. Uh Yes, indeed. Thank you, my lady. Now, uh, oh, okay, so at the very end of the hall here I, is my room. Hey, what do you want here? You better get right now. You don't like visitors, huh? Time to uh. teach you a lesson. <coughs> Hope you had a nice life. Come on. Yikes. Okay, I see. You gotta go up. I should have seen that coming. Alright. We'll go to sleep. And then I will call it a stream. Mostly because I don't... Without my horse, I don't know where I can go in the darkness kind of thing. Uh, or if I want to go anywhere in the darkness. I'm sure that there's probably something that we uh, can... You know, there's some quests, uh, missions that we have to do in the darkness. So, yeah. Uh. All right. Ah, brightest day.
Oh, new journal entry? Well. Alright. Um, let us save and then move forward, shall we? All right. So, with all of that said and done, I would like to thank you all for watching. So long. See you later. Goodbye. Hope you enjoyed the ride. Uh, I hope you all stay happy, stay healthy, stay beautiful, stay sane. Uh, we will continue Red Dead Redemption 2 at some point in time. I don't know when, but it will be... Uh, something that I'm kind of sprinkling in with uh, finishing Mass Effect Andromeda and uh, Arkham Knight. So, among my other Twitch streams. So, yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful Saturday and a wonderful rest of your weekend. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay sane. And, uh, which I know I already said, but in this crazy world, I just feel like I gotta say it twice. Because of how much... Uh, crazier the world can be um, and all that stuff. And ta-ta for now.